I am so happy. It is fixed. It is finally fixed. No more sulfur smells. My wife's happy. I'm happy. And my problem of years is gone. So let's get into this. <laughs> So if you're watching now, you're interested in what I've learned. And that's what I want to do. I want to share what I've learned. A lot of this has to do with the CSI Reactor R system, which is what I have. And, and I'll explain why it's confused me and why I've struggled. And hopefully by the end of it, if you have a problems with your system, you can figure it out on your own and get it fixed. Because I did the YouTube thing. I looked at as many videos as I could and I couldn't find anything that really helped. And that sort of sucks if you're a YouTuber. Feel free to skip around as much as you want to if you already know all this stuff. So the water comes up from the well by a motor. And every time the motor comes on and off, it creates a pulse of water that's under pressure. And this big blue tank has a rubber bladder in the middle of it and it's got air on one side and water on the other. And the idea is every time the well turns on and shocks the system with a big pulse of water, that bladder moves up and down and cushions the water. So that way it doesn't tear up your pipes inside the house. These go bad over time. They leak air, they don't work, the bladder tears, and that's what happened to me. Back in 2019, yes, that long ago, this stopped working. The bladder was torn. I could tell because when you turn the water on in the house or in the shower, you could almost hear the pipes thumping. So I replaced it. I took the system out. I put a new one in. I didn't change anything. I didn't move anything. I put it back just like it was. And when I was done, we had sulfur gases. And I'm like, what the hell? Why are there sulfur gases? I didn't do anything. I just replaced the blue tank. So let's keep moving up. So I'm not the smartest person in the world, but by no means am I a dummy. If I take something apart and put it back exactly like it was, it should work like it did before. And that blue tank that helps with the, the shocking and the water pressure should not have anything to do with the aerator. So after we put it back together and we had the sulfur smells, I started going on and looking at as much information as I could. And there's not much provided by the company. I think they would prefer that their service techs do all the work. And there's not a whole lot of people out there that are putting information on this reactor R system. But it came with this inside it. And like I said, this has a float. And this screws in to this piece and there's supposed to be air in there. I have learned after doing a lot more work that this top portion up here is where you could add some like oxidizer like oxyclean an oxygen element to it to help with the system but this part is not connected to this part so when I was thinking I got water and stuff here that really didn't make a difference that was for something else that's for an, an accessory I don't have so I replaced this. I went to the store I bought this system from because I installed it way back in the day. And that's another confusing thing. I bought this maybe 2009-ish. I set the system up. I installed it. It worked flawlessly until 2019 when I replaced the blue tank. And then it didn't want to work right. So I, I talked to a, the dealer and went online and I took this apart and I cleaned all the balls and I did everything, put it back together, it didn't work. I replaced this valve thinking that the float inside must be bad. Still didn't work. And I don't know why, it doesn't make any sense to me. So essentially, I took this piece off and I put a longer pipe on which forces this down lower. That's the only thing I did. For two years we struggled with smelly water. For two years I replaced this part, I replaced that valve, um, I replaced uh, an anode that goes in the water heater. I have probably spent three or four hundred dollars tinkering with this over the last two years trying to get it fixed and trying to figure out how it worked. I wish somewhere there would have been that information that said all I needed to do was just lower this some and create a larger air pocket inside for the water. 
like I said, I've got nothing against the CSI React system. And I'll even finish talking about how it works. So the water enters this tank, which is the aeration tank. It goes through the tank, comes out of the bottom, comes up, and goes into this other large tank. This tank is full of sand. And it's got a pressure release valve up top. And you can set it. And it reverses the water flow. And it back flushes all the debris out of this. And it does that every two days. You can set it to do it as often as you want. So the new systems today are like everything else. They use your phone. They have an app. It'll tell you how much water you're using, what time of the day it does. You can use your phone or your app to change when it back flushes. It gives you so much more information. But it's also brand new and it costs about $3,000. So if you've made it this far, you probably have a similar system. And maybe you were struggling with yours. I hope this helped. Like, subscribe, check out my playlist, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.